terug. Sorry. What do? One step, guys.
done it. Tripping. All right, cool. Also, by the way, I'm Ramadan. these videos that I have answered before. 
more, but I don't want to make it too repetitive for the people who are here every episode and have already heard me say these things over and over again. So if you have questions, check and see if I answered it there, or just go back and watch all the previous episodes. I don't know. Back to the squishy, I did two coats of this rainbow because after the first coat it needed quite a lot of cleaning up so I had to go back over it. I've been doing a lot of blendy rainbow recently but I just went with some nice clean-ish ish stripes for this. I mean they're hand painted so they're not perfect. Anyway, after staring at it I decided I kind of wanted to add a little shading or something to the fries just so they weren't all one solid color but I blended it out so much that it's really subtle like super subtle like basically invisible but yes um here are the fries i think this came out pretty good it's it's simple you know it's a simple design nothing too crazy but it's rainbow which you guys know i love and also that big rip is now taken care of so that's nice you know it's not the most dramatic makeover i've ever done but i still really like it Okay, next is this milk carton squishy, which has a cute little face on it. Oh, and on the back too. Wait, why would it have two faces? It's like there are two beings trapped in one body. I don't know if I like that. But whatever, other than that, I do like the design. A little bland for my taste, but it's cute. Even though it's pretty dirty and damaged and could use a makeover, I had no plan of how I could decorate this. So I ended up deciding to change it into something completely different. Ooh. Suspense. First, I wanted to get rid of the texture that was on there to create a smoother surface to work with. So I took some random puppy paint and smoothed that over to get rid of the texture. After two coats of that, most of it was filled in. Now I'm taking a scrap piece of memory foam that's way bigger than what I needed and making thousands of little cuts and taking absolutely forever and wasting 80% of that foam to create a tiny little silver because I'm going to turn this milk carton into a birdhouse. Oh, well done. Nice. So I'm going to glue on this little cylinder and secure it, let it dry for 30 minutes, and here is the little perch for our birdhouse. Of course, we got to cover that in a thick layer of some irrelevant fabric paint to secure it better and fill up the little holes in the foam. When squishies have faces on them, I always feel like they're staring at me and like guilting me for what I'm doing to them. Now I'm breaking out some matte paint and I'm coating this whole squishy in a light yellow color. And I just keep going coat after coat trying to cover up all the random textures that are all over this thing. And now finally, I'm going to start decorating the birdhouse. I decided to go with some different colored wavy stripes that run all the way around. I guess this is the episode of stripes, I don't know. And I painted the roof in a nice light brown color. And just step by step, I'm cleaning up that paint job, making it look more like a birdhouse, adding the little bird opening, and I did add like a wood grain kind of texture to the roof. I'm not sure how successful I was at that. I mean, I can see where I was going with this, but I'm pretty sure if I didn't tell you what it was, you'd be like, what is and for the final touch, I went on the front and added some tiny little stars, just for some cute little details. And that's it! Side note, every time I paint a squishy, all the air gets trapped and makes it really impossible to squish. So, I use a tin to stab the squishy and release some of the air. You can see the holes when you first coat them, but after like 30 seconds, the paint goes back and they're basically invisible. But the good thing is, you have complete control over how slow rising you want the squishy to be. Okay, so this birdhouse is finished, but it's just really sad because there's nobody to live in it and it's just so empty and, and so alone. I must make a bird to live in it. So, I grabbed a clump of foam and started snipping away. This is basically like an accessory for the birdhouse, so I don't want anything too detailed or too intricate. So like a little bird blob, you know? I coated that baby in a thick coat of white paint to seal off all the holes, and then I went ahead and made this into a little blue bird using the same glue from the birdhouse to tie it all together. And then I added a little beak, a little cheek, a little eye, and a little wing. Okay, enough with that voice. Here's the before and after. It's kind of weird to show the side by side because the front of the milk is not the same as the front of the house because they're on different sides of the squishy, but you get it. I think this is the first non-food or animal squishy that I've ever made or decorated, so that's exciting. And I'm so happy that the house has a bird 
and the bird has a house, the bird will never actually be able to go inside his house. I'm not even sure he would fit through there if it was real. But you know what? Let's not overthink this. He can fly around. He can sit on his little perch. Oh, okay, maybe not. Still cute though. hamster twins. They are the exact same squishy, but one of them has been colored on. They're actually not in too bad a shape besides a couple little rips, but nothing terribly shocking. They do have super cute little hamster bods, and oh, this guy's creeping in the background. Get out of there. But I don't think this solid orange color is really doing much for them. I, I think they could use some more, mm, more. For these, we have to break out the sandpaper. Make sure if you do this to cover your nose and mouth, because I don't think your lungs would appreciate squishy dust. I went over this last time, but basically, if the squishy is too smooth, the paint no likey. So you need to add some texture for the paint to stay on. It's not every squishy that's like this, just the ones that are like super smooth. So now with half of their skin sanded off, they're ready to paint. So I'm starting with some slick paint in the color grape, which I thought was very appropriate because I'm doing a peanut butter and jelly theme. For somebody who doesn't even like to eat peanut butter and jelly, I don't know why I've made now three peanut butter and jelly squishies, but I think it looks really cute. I just don't like to eat it. I actually like peanut butter and jelly separately. I just don't think they should ever be mixed. Like, never. Ever, ever, ever. Anyway, this is the jelly hamster that I'm working on, and I'm painting it a light purple. Whoa, that color is so much darker when it dries. Look at that. Look at that. I feel like purple paint in particular dries a lot darker. I don't know, maybe I'm making that up. Wow, the fingernails blend in perfectly with that purple. It's so weird. Like, seriously, the exact same color. I'm fascinated by the simplest thing. Okay, so now I'm painting on the white belly and the classic white hamster markings on the face. Oh, and a lot of people were saying they wanted me to make the twins into Chip and Dale, which I thought was a cute idea. That's jelly on the head, by the way. But the thing is, Chip and Dale are like the exact same design with just slightly different colors, and I don't know, I just, I wanted to make them a little bit more different from each other than that. So I decided to go with a PB and J theme instead. And now it's time for the peanut butter hamster. I'm using the matte paint for him. I thought it would look nice to have the jelly hamster with the slick paint and the peanut butter hamster in the matte paint. So here we go with that nice light peanut butter color. And so... Yes! And after many, many coats of paint and love, this guy is ready for the details. And I want to try to make his body look like a peanut. So I added little crisscross stripes all over his body, but then when I cleaned them up, they got a little thicker. I felt like they were a little in your face. So I lightened the color and went over them to take it down a notch. And I'm glad I did because I think this ended up looking a little better. And again, I'm adding the hamsterness with the white details and giving him some nice peanut butter on his head. And yes, that is actual peanut butter. Oh, of course it's not. And here comes the face. Do, 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 do. Here comes the face, and I say, it's all right. Okay, just ignore me. And yes, good catch. I gave him purple eyes, and the jelly one, peanut yeah, butter eyes. It's like the yin-yang thing going on, you know? And look, they're looking at each other. Aww. So, Jelly is the girl, Peanut Butter is the boy, and they are just such a cute couple. Wait, are they a couple or are they twins? I don't know. I hope that you guys aren't disappointed that I didn't end up going with Chip and Dale, but I am personally really happy with these. I love how they came out so much. bonus bun. Since I have so many of these little mini ones, I may be doing some at the end of the videos as a bonus. I won't be going into as much detail with the process as the other ones, but yes, there may be bonus squishies at the end, so watch out. I know a lot of people want me to do more squishies in each video, and so this is my absolute max, because as it is, these videos take about, I don't know, 30 to 50 hours to film and edit, and that's not including drying time or any breaks, so it's usually a full eight or nine 
my days of me working on the video every day. And that's why these makeovers come out every other Friday instead of every Friday because I still have my Monday video to do. And I also have my art and craft videos that I don't want to neglect. And just when you thought I was going to make an entire video without sprinkles. Huh, ridiculous. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the many more episodes that are yet to come. And if you like these videos, check out my other That's so videos as well.